Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Let me show you some fill handle tricks in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to go into A1. I've got a blank file running, a blank worksheet. If you want to put in today's date, that's control semicolon. Today is Saturday, October 26. Control enter leaves you there. So here is the fill handle. It's always in the bottom right corner. Crosshairs pull down, let go, it puts in the next date. That would be handy if you worked in an emergency room. I'm assuming you're open 24-7. That would be handy if you had a production facility working seven days a week. The next trick with the fill handle, I'm going to put in yesterday's date, which was Friday the 25th. There's the fill handle. We only work Monday through Friday. We don't do weekends. So when I fill this one down, there is auto fill options. And I only want to fill the weekdays. So there it is. Notice it's showing the 26th and the 27th in cell B2 and B3. When I click fill weekdays, it jumps to the 28th, which is a Monday, then the 29th. It also missed November 2nd and 3rd, so it's working. Next one, again, I'm going to put in today's date, control semicolon. I'm going to pull this down. And if you needed to type the date, you could. But back here with the auto fill options, we have an option to fill the months. So C1 should be October 26, C2 should go to November. C3 should go to December. And it did. That is fill months. The next one, you could also fill the years. So it should go October 26, 19, October 26, 2020, then October 26, 2021, and it does. That would be great for anniversaries, date of hire dates, um, evaluation date. So there's that one. Another feature with autofill, if I need to do a numbered list, there's the number one. When I get the crosshairs, the fill handle, and pull down, I bet it keeps giving me one, one, one. You can actually see that it is. But I know I want one, two, three. I want to do a series. So I'm back to autofill options, and I'm going to pick fill the series. There I go. If you ever need to do this, I want the number one. Oops, let me format that real quick. Then I want the number six. I may need to format that one. I want one, six, 11, 16. I've got them both highlighted. One little mistake I see people doing when I'm training is they only click on the six and start pulling down I'm going to undo that. You need to highlight both E1 and E2. Fill handle 11, 16, 21. I'm in business. There you go. Also, with autofill, you can mix te uh, text with numbers. I did test one. I need to give six tests out, test one through test six. That is how that works. Now for the next one, I want to forecast out for the next year. And again, I'm going to go ahead and make a mistake right here. I'm going to add a new worksheet. That's not the mistake, by the way, in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to cell B2. Here's the mistake I see people making. I'm looking for next year's forecast and I want it monthly. So January, February, March. And I tell people type in J-A-N space bar 2020. I see them doing just January 20. Then when you get your fill handle, I've been pulling down, but you can always pull to the right. I'm expecting the next month and I get the next day. If you look up in the formula bar, it's January 20th, 2019, January 21. So make sure when you do this, you need to kind of let Excel know you're looking for a year 
and not a day. So I did 20, 20 instead of just 20. Now I should get the next month. I do. So I would fill this over to December. Comes in handy with accounting numbers or production numbers, whatever you want to do. There's the month and the year, but I did a four digit before I filled it over. And one last one, just to keep this really simple today, I'm going to go back to my sheet one. I'm going to get rid of this just for a second. I'm going to delete it. So let's assume I'm back here showing the next day. I just pulled that down. And I have this day in bold and blue. And next to it, I have a list of numbers. It could be the number of orders we took. Let me format those real quick. There we go. 5, 7, 12, 20. I don't care about the rest of the numbers. This is just for training. But these numbers are italics and have a gray background. So here's the trick with the fill handle. If I highlight these two crosshairs and pull down, Everything is actually now messed up. In case you're wondering what got messed up, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to do an undo. So I just messed up all my numbers. So, so I should have five, seven, twelve, twenty, and a bunch of twos. So highlight them, fill handle. When you pull down, even though they look like they're messed up, again, I'm going to auto fill options. I want to fill formatting only. There's my 5, 7, 12, 20, 2, 2, 2. Anyway, I try to keep this short. I'm right at seven minutes. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. Have a good Saturday and Sunday, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.